Choo, choo, choo. The juice train's coming through, and you know what's on the back of it? The juice caboose! Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Baruski, from the Ruska Baruski Review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Railway City Brewing Company. This is their Juice Caboose. Juicy IPA coming in at 6.8% alcohol by volume and ooh, 48 IBUs, 48 IBUs, 6.8%. Juicy IPA, I think it's a New England IPA if I'm not mistaken. What's it say on the website? Juice Caboose New England style IPA, very, very excited. Very hippie looking, very psychedelic, lots of flowers. Very colorful juice caboose peace sign on the O there. Very, very interesting. Very just flashy. And yeah, flashy, super geez, super duper flashy styling. Cool. 6.8%, 48 IBUs. Let's crack this open. Let's see what we got. Juice caboose. I haven't had anything from Railway City in quite some time. And when we do a beer, they have a glass for, we use the glass. Railway City pop, oversized pop can style glass. Got this for one of their, uh, I think their, their Christmas, winter sort of uh, packs. Comes out every year, so you can do that in the winter time near Christmas time. Time, time, time. Drink whenever I say time. Cheers. Let's, uh, let's pour it up, see what we got. Boom, boom. Ooh, that's actually quite clearer than I expected. Okay, cool. Maybe there's sediment at the bottom. I don't know. Maybe we'll... Do a little bit swishy swish. Maybe that's a foul. Any change? No, pretty clear. Okay, cool. Beer here. Glass here. There we go. Looking at the beer itself, it is a very, very clear IPA. Not super hazy. It's hard to see because this glass is so plastered with designs and logos. But right on the bottom there, you can kind of see the color of it a bit. Uh, yeah, decently, decently clear, uh, nice golden color, actually looks more like a lager, decent white head on top, but yeah, it looks very more reminiscent of like a lager or a uh, filtered beer rather than a New England IPA. Interesting. Let's have a smell. Aromas off here. Light pine, light grapefruit. To be honest, kind of hard to pick stuff up. It's There's not much. A little bit of floraliness. Some say, uh, uh, yeah, small touch of citrus is what I'm trying to say. A little bit of melon going on there. Touch of mango. Mm, what was that? Like papaya or lychee? Okay, okay. All right. Interesting. Let's have a sip. Mango, papaya, lychee. Mm -hmm. Touch of pineapple. Nice citrus. Nice sweet melon. Sort of almost like a watermelon-esque flavor. Wow, that is actually quite juicy. Not that hoppy. I'm not getting much pine or much grapefruit out of this so far. Definitely juicy. That's for damn sure. Very interesting. Well, we may need to dive in a bit deeper. So as we always do here. Cheers, everybody. Just keep on drinking. The thing that hits first is definitely like papaya, lychee, mangoes, and then it moves into the touch of uh, pine and grapefruit, orangey citrusiness going on there, a little bit of melon in the back, um, ends a bit bitter, but nothing, nothing crazy at all, uh, definitely juice forward. Fruit juice forward, almost uh, even like fruit fruit punch esque per se. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. It's good, but it seems like it's not too sure what it is. 
whether it's 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 more of a fruity beer or if it's an IPA. Uh, the the bitterness of it is is low and seems more in the in the background uh, versus the the fruitiness of it, the, the sweetness of the beer, which is fine. But it, it seems like it's trying to find its place in the whole beer style world. If that makes any sense. It's, it's that awkward kind of hippie kid. Essentially, odd, odd, awkward hippie kid. I don't know. That's that's kind of where my mind's going. Like, it doesn't really fit into a crowd too much, like specifically, but it's kind of bounces around two different styles, uh, two different things. It's it's interesting. It's not a bad beer. It's just an, it's an, it's a bit awkward for me. That's that's the best way to put it. It's a touch awkward. The fight between sweet and juicy and bitter and more IPA like but maybe maybe the can or the website might have a bit more information maybe make a little bit more sense on where this beer is going so railway city juice caboose juicy IPA like I said 6.8% alcohol by volume 48 international bitterness units ingredients uh, water grains malt, uh, which are malted barley oats and wheat and hops, which are Citra, El Dorado, and Vic Secret, and the yeast, and just just yeast. Cool. That's actually really nice that you get to see what kind of hops that are used here. Not really on the um, grain side of things or the yeast, but at least you, you you know what hops are going on. Citra definitely sweeter. Um, El Dorado for sure. Vic Secret very very nice. Return for refund where applicable. Blah 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 blah. Um, no description, but. Railway City Brewing Company from St. Thomas, Ontario. Very nice website. And uh, all their tags for their Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Very, very nice. Uh, Railway City Brewing Company, 10-year ten, ten anniversary. Very, very nice. On the bottom, we do have a packaged on date, the June 4th, 2019. Or April 6th, 2019. I think it's June. It's June 4th. June 4th, 2019, 2019, 0604. Makes more sense if it's June. Very nice. No description. Kind of a bummer. But you do have a lot of good other information. IBUs, ABVs, ingredients, detailed list of the hops, and your packaged on date on the bottom. Great stuff. As for the website, and this is the one thing I hate so much about this website, is that you can't just sort of freeze frame on a beer. Everything sort of slides on little, like, uh timer sort of thing which is a pain in the ass because I need to read and sometimes you don't have enough time to read but let's read it now which is sorry website railwaycitybrewing.com you go to the beer section you go under these are the mainline beers um juice caboose come back here come back here uh let's read style son of a bitch it's gone style New England IPA body medium damn it go back Aroma, tropical fruit, pineapple, fruit salad, and fruit salad. Yeah, I guess. Fruit salad and peach. Taste, notes of fresh orange squeeze. God damn it. Tangelo, overripe pineapple, and melon juice. Son of a gun. 6.8% ABV, 48 IBUs. That's all the information that it has. And oh my god, one, two, three, 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 sec three, three to five seconds that it keeps it on the page. As you can see, I was having troubles trying to get back and read it fully. It's a very short thing to read, but they don't give you enough time. You really need a pause button, and I haven't found one. Just pause, or click it, and give it a dedicated page. Maybe this saves time, but at the same time, it's, it's a little bit annoying to just start reading, and then have to click back, and then read, and then you have to click back. I just did that about five times. It's a nice looking website. But I hate the slideshow kind of deal that they have going on. It's a pain in my ass. and ugh, I don't like it. Sorry, sorry, Railway City. You got to do something. Put a pause button. Just put a pause button. We're all good there. Overall, for information, good stuff. You know, style, body, aroma, taste. Not bad. Quite descriptive. Short and sweet, but descriptive. I like that. I like that a lot. Still no real description of the beer, but that's totally fine. That's actually better than a description because sometimes descriptions... Kind of go off on a little tangent about maybe the name of the can. Or I had one person just have a description about the logo. Not even about the beer. 
Something about that beer, or the logo of that particular beer, just the logo of the company. So we're at City. Good job. Good job on that. Good information. But yeah, it's a, mm, it's an awkward beer. Really nice fruits in here. Beautiful. Does live up to the name Juicy IPA. God damn, they're totally right. But at the same time, like I said, it's awkward. The juice, the juiciness, the sweetness of the beer versus the IPA aspect of it. The, 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 you, know, you know, the hoppy, piney, grapefruity bitterness that you get from an IPA. They clash and it's awkward because they don't know where to really mingle together properly. But overall, not bad. A nice, nice little thing. If you want to pick up the Juice Caboose at your local LCBO, you can pick up the 473 ML Tall Boy Can for $3.45. Not too bad of a price. You get a nice beer. You get a good ABV. You get a good time. You get something different. You know, you get something exciting. Something that just, ooh, livens your taste buds up just a bit. Actually, quite nice. It's nice, but it's awkward. It's uh, it's 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 a, it's an adventure, and you know what? That's a good thing. That's a really good thing because beer's supposed, to, well, craft beer's supposed to be an adventure. You know, you you gotta you gotta switch it up a little bit. You can't just be down in regular old IPAs or regular old lagers or ales or, or or stouts or anything like that. Sometimes you want something that's gonna, you know, twist twist your taste buds in a funky way, and this does just that. Finally, moving over to untap before we get to the ratings, though. Gotta have another sip. Oh, what a nice big one. Ah! Juice Caboose, Railway Sitting Brewing Company. They are saying 55 IBUs on untap. That is completely wrong. Or maybe in a previous rendition of the beer was 55, but now it's 48. ABV is the same, 6.8. But Mark, out of five bottle caps, it's 3.75 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of just over 1,200 ratings. So a good amount of people have enjoyed this beer. Again, they do list it as a New England IPA. I've had New England IPAs before, and they've never been this juicy or this sweet. But it's something new. It's something different. Something kind of innovative. I like it. I don't. I, I like the concept. The execution, kind of... Uh, not really my thing, but it's still an enjoyable beer nonetheless. Well, I think I can do this in one sip. So with that said, cheers everybody. Let's get rid of the ratings. Overall, Juice Caboose Railway Sitting Brewing Company, New England Juicy IPA. Great flavors the juiciness the fruitiness are is is executed really really well the ipa portion the hoppy sort of grapefruity typical ipa stuff done really really well as well but when they come together it gets a little awkward they don't really mingle the best together but it's a very nice uh rendition of a new england ipa quite nice just awkward, but awkward's good because it sends your taste buds on a little journey, a little adventure, and that's always a good time. So that's why Juice Caboose gets a solid seven out of 10 for me. As for presentation, the can is absolutely bonkers. As you can see, very hippie-esque, very florally, very bright. Can't miss it, I sure didn't. Good information, ABV, IBUs, ingredients, detailed list of the hops, package on data on the bottom all it's missing is a description but the website kind of makes up for that not with the traditional description but with information of the body of the uh, aromas taste great stuff short sweet but descriptive website still a bum with that slideshow kind of thing the information passes your eye too quickly put a pause button in there and it's perfectly done Overall, presentation gets a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, leave all that information 
down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce, because it would greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce, and like I always say, crack the and enjoy. Cheers. Juicy Kabusi is on the loose. Juicy Kabusi has left the train. Oh my god, it's derailing into a fruit stand. I drank most of the beer on camera, so that's all you're gonna get from me. So, cheese!